Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny, and this is my YouTube channel, and I'm covering every necktie knot available in the universe, and uh, subscribe if you want to. Now, today, I'm doing a Trinity dot knot that's modified. Now, if you saw my other video uh, that for the Trinity modified knot, you'll see that the necktie, uh, the tail end, is not covered or not tucked in under your collar, but it's tucked down below. So, I will show you how that's done. Alright everybody, so the modified Trinity knot using the big end, so it's inspired by the Merovingian, the Aediti, the Atlantic, the Cape knot from uh, Alex Krasny, uh, anyways, whatever. Here we go, this is how it's done. Um, you're going to need to have a vest or a v-neck sweater because that's the only way to sort of achieve uh, what I'm doing here and it may still make it look good. Alright, uh, so the big end is going to be really long and the short end, really I only want to get it just past where I can hide it so I can work with the thinnest end possible so I can uh, have an easier time tying this knot. Alright, let's have a closer look. So now using the little end, in a traditional Trinity knot I would pinch this little end but really I'm not going to do anything with it. Alright, let's get started. The big end is going to go over top of the little end. It's going to come up through the top on the same side that I just brought the big end on and down. This is all going to be very similar or familiar for everyone know, who knows how to do a Trinity knot. Now take the big end, it's going to come around the back end and back up through the top and down again. So we'll have a two sections on each side here, or one section on each side. Alright, now I want to keep this knot nice and small still so I can work around it. Now the big end is going to come across the front and I'm going to keep this loose because I'm going to be uh, moving, I'm going to be tucking pieces back inside of this thing. Alright, so the big end, back through the back, we'll come up through the top, and down and across again. So now with a, a modified Trinity knot you're going to be bringing this big end in behind and back up through the part that we had in the front here. Okay, so I'm going to make a big enough loop so I can fit this thing in. So I can say right away the difficulty level, well, it's up a notch from the traditional Trinity knot. So this big end, I want to tuck it in behind just for the time being while I sort of organize the mess that I've just made on my neck here. So I want to tighten it up uh, just a tiny bit just to get it a little bit organized. There we go. I got it. Not that way, this way. So I can start taking the shape of my trinity knot. Uh, the front here looks pretty fine. Now I want to be able to tuck this back in right in here. There's the loop. That's the one I want. Not the one that goes around the front here. I want this other one that came around the side. So that's where I'm going to fit my knot through, or fit my big end through. Alright, now we just need to uh, tighten this thing up a little bit so it looks the way it's supposed to look. That's not it. Here. So with a little bit more adjustment, it'd be fairly perfect. So to bring it up uh, to your neck, you're going to hold on to the big knot with one hand, 
you are going to pull on the front end, the little end this time. Let's bring it up to your neck and then that's it. Pull your collar down. Tuck this in. I don't know what to quite to call it yet, but uh, there it is. It's a modified Trinity knot with the tail end down instead of in the collar and tied with the fat end instead. Inspired by the Merovingian, the Aditi, the Cape knot, the Atlantic knot, and whatever else I might have seen out there. I thought it was a good idea. Um, if you like it, please let me know. I'm Patrick Novotny. This is my YouTube channel. I'm doing how-to videos uh, on necktie knots in the entire universe. And subscribe if you want to.